Hello everybody, it's Nima and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today is Friday, that means we are building in Planet Zoo and normally we are building on um, the Red Tail Zoo but since this is pre-recorded because I am moving I have had some uh, builds of my backlog in here which I completely edited and did everything just needed to do the voiceover and today we are or I am going to show you how I built my part of the community zoo for um, Zoofluencer's video or by the time this video will come out his name will have changed to Zoof so I am going to show you how I did this and what I built. Now, first thing to know is it's a community zoo, so um, everything surrounding this area, I did not build. I just built this area, so everything you see around here um, has been built by other people. This video will also come out after um, Zoof has done his video on the community zoo. I'm not quite sure when he's planning on doing that. I know he's working on it. But we all know that working on it and actually putting the content out sometimes takes a little while because obviously you have a lot of other projects. So um, I'm patiently waiting. And then uh, when it's out, uh, this video will come out shortly after that. So I will link Zoofluence or Zoof his uh, channel in the description down below so you can check it out. And we are just um, starting in on this speed build. So today uh, I'm gonna show you how I built the habitat for the Indian Rhino. Now the zoo that um, I participated in, because there were actually two community zoos, uh, there was in the one in the Taika um, biome and one in the desert biome. I participated in the desert biome and I built a habitat for the Indian Rhino. And this is quite detailed, I have to say. I'm very proud of it. It took me some time, but I did it. So first what we did, I love domes. So I built one part of the dome you saw me doing that then just and now we are making sure that the entire dome is fixed and it's rotated and we are do obviously this is not going to be the place where the actual dome is going to stand in the end um, but this is just the place where I can see everything and it works out actually really rather well this is before or I made this before the um, East Asia pack came out I think I built this in February and the zoo itself, the build finished, or like the entire zoo finished in uh, April, I think. So I think this video should be out somewhere the end of May, begin June. I'm not quite sure, we'll see, but that's what I think. So right now we are just adjusting the dome so that actually is perfect. And I absolutely love how big this dome is. And I am borrowing uh, something that the creator of uh, that next to me made. He made this little a fence and I'm just borrowing it, adjusting it to my habitat so that it fits perfectly. And then here we are starting the build. Now I wanted this pathway to fit right in between uh, the glass so I could actually remove it and we can have a little archway there. And then we are in a minute we are going to build a fully custom archway there and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. First I was going to see if I could do it with uh, just some building pieces. That didn't work out so I decided to use the um, Australian planks I believe that they are. And we are just using that to make sure that it actually looks a lot better. And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out and I always feel that um, working on a community zoo it uh, almost stretches your your limits because you need to think outside the box, at least I do, because I don't want to deliver something that is like easy. I want to go all the way, I want to go like all in, I want to be like, oh yeah, well this is really rather special, it's so good. I want to have something like that. And so that means we're also going to do custom fencing. So again here on this side, um, we're going to remove that and we are actually going to create this walkway through uh, the inside habitat of the rhino or the rhinoceros, I should say. So first I was like, yeah, I'll do a rhinoceros uh, habitat and then I'll build something on the other side. And then I was building, I was like, yeah, but actually I don't want to build something on the other side because I'm really happy with how it is now. And I just want a really big habitat for this rhino. And obviously uh, animal welfare is turned off, so luckily. So that meant that I could just, um, well, you know, they have more rhinos in a habitat than they are originally supposed to be according to the Zoopedia. And here we are slowly decorating um, the entrance because I didn't want it to be like normal 
as a matter of say, I want it to be something special, something different. So we are adding these little beams and then one beam below there just to give it this little aesthetically pleasing uh, look. And I actually really like it. And looking back at it, I'm like, yeah, actually, I'm rather good at building in Planet Zoo. Quite surprised about that because I normally think like, oh yeah, I'll build something and then perhaps people will look at it and maybe they'll even like it. But when I look at this, I'm like, yeah, actually, it's really quite good. So there you see me putting the rhinos in already. And one of them has almost escaped, <laughs> which is lovely. And then we are putting in some water and then we are actually um, going to make a little water feature there. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that I love water features, especially waterfalls. They're just my gist. I, I don't this is very weird to say about yourself, but I'm quite good at them as well. So at least I think so. And I've heard other people say that they are elected as well. So I must be good. I just assuming. So we are using that by rocks. Like uh, what I wanted to do was create natural barriers and a natural looking habitat. I'm very much of the uh, natural pieces. I love net. I love things when things are natural. That's just really my kryptonite. Um, I don't like very boxed off enclosures with uh, walls and everything. I like to use natural barriers. That's why I feel very uncomfortable when I'm having to build buildings as well, because I just feel like I can't because it's totally out of my comfort zone, which is actually why I was thinking of perhaps this summer starting a uh, franchise zoo, which will be actually uh, mainly buildings. But I'm not quite sure yet. If you have any ideas about how, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we can figure something out. But for now, uh, we are not going to have that. Because, you know, mainly, um, like I said at the beginning of this video, at the moment that you are watching this, or at the current time you're watching this, or actually it was uploaded, um, I'm moving. So uh, I don't have time to build community suits because I need to renovate my new home because it needs to be all painted, it needs to be a floor, uh, furniture, more paint, like decorating, lots of decorating. I will do a uh, finished uh, house tour when it's all done, so don't worry. And here you see me landscaping. Now I put a lot of landscaping in this video because obviously it's all natural habitat, but also because I love landscaping and I feel like um, it sounds really weird to say about yourself, but I'm kind of unique at landscaping because personally I feel like I'm really good at it. And um, perhaps that's a little bit rude of you to say about yourself, but I actually quite like it. And actually I think I'm really good at it. And with the amount of vegetation that I use and the foliage and the combination of it itself, it's actually quite good. And I'm really happy with that. So here we are placing some uh, rocks down. And I was actually hoping that they could walk over it into the water. And also I wanted to have it a little bit more natural. So in a minute we are actually going to have some um, terrain paint around it. Just to make it look natural. And I actually really like the way that it turned out. So we're using some green grass because, you know, uh, we are in the desert but there's a water. So that would automatically mean that there's like an oasis. Something near there. It's green there, that's what I'm trying to say. So I really like the way that it in the end turned out. And I'm so excited for the entire zoo. Like, I'm not sure if you've seen the community zoo finished already. I'm guessing you did, or maybe you didn't. Um, but it, I'm really, I looked at the zoo already because I saw the file on Steam and I was just like, yes, it's so amazing. I'm really, it's really quite good. But I'm not gonna say too much about it. Watch the video for yourself. So here we are doing some uh, terrain modifications, which are actually really important because otherwise the terrain is just flat and that's plain out boring. And it was quite difficult because I wanted a terrain that was a little bit hilly, but not too much. And it needed to look natural for, you know, it was very important. And then the rest of the habitat is sunken in. So you actually walk over it and then it has different levels as well. So, uh, you know, I, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And I'm really quite proud of myself. So here we are building a barrier. I put a few of this in because, you know, um, it's handmade and I'm actually really nice. Uh, I'm really proud of it. What I would have done different though, like looking at back at this, um, I should have turned the other, like the lower beam, I should have turned it around because now it looks very uh, copy pasted. And I realized that once I was done, I'm like, yeah, 
I'm not gonna go in and change it all. I have no need to do that. I really don't feel like that. So and I, I tur it turned out that the animals could still escape, so we are just placing some elephant grass and then we are also going to place some rock features in between just to make sure that they can't escape. And obviously you don't want elephant grass everywhere because that will look pretty boring and bland, so you know we're separating it. And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Also with the fencing, you know, a little bit crooked, but that's fine. And then... Um, on the other side, there was another habitat attached to it, so I just placed some rocks on the barrier border because I didn't want to um, infiltrate the other person's area, of course. That's like quite rude to do that. Um, you know, people need to decide what they wanted. If they don't want to work with rocks, that's fine. So I built it like on the uh, border. And here we're going to have uh, our second water feature. And we, we are actually going to have four water features in this habitat. So four waterfalls as well. It's a lot, I know, but it's worth it and in the end it looks really nice. And actually this waterfall that we're building here, that's the waterfall that I'm the least proud of because it's in this weird angle. It's a weird thing, like I have a, I have a really good memory, kind of a photographic memory. And um, when I was building this habitat, um, I was watching Iron Man. Mm -hmm which I've watched like a million times, but it just all came back to me. So like, oh yeah, because this was the scene where they were, it was really, really funny to see it like that. So, you know, quite proud of that, <laughs> that I did it, yay. And uh, a lot of more rock work. I'm really, really happy with it. I mean, look at the way I placed these rocks. I'm just, oh, so proud. And the way that it like, um, it, it touches the wooden barrier, but it doesn't go through it because that would be really unrealistic and I still want it to be kind of realistic even though in some places it does go through it but never like completely completely through it. So here we are uh, getting the start of our third water uh, feature and this is just there at the top. Now I, I think I may have lost the footage of me actually um, decorating it because I don't remember putting that in here. And at first I was like, yeah, I want to do a water feature there on top and then I was like, yeah, no, I want to do something else. So yeah, you see I lost that footage. Um, but I did build an entire waterfall there and it's very nicely decorated and um, I'm sure that it will be shown a little bit later in the video uh, again. I think, yeah, I see, there it is. Look how beautiful it is. What a lovely waterfall. Quite proud of that. That's like a manual waterfall without the uh, preset waterfalls that came with the aquatic pack, I believe they came with. So this is just like the old way of doing it. And we're putting a lot of reed and elephant grass down there just to make sure that it looks natural. Because again, you know, it is an oasis and I looked up some oases in deserts and they're actually quite green, which, which is kind of logical because that's why it's an oasis. But I actually really like the way that it uh, turns out and the way that it all blends together. And I can't say this enough, but I'm deeply, deeply proud of this habitat. I already uploaded it to the uh, Steam Workshop. The link to my Steam is in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And speaking of uh, links down below, there are also links down below to my socials. So my Discord uh, server is in there. It's quite empty in there. We're going to need some people that are willing to communicate. And um, you can also link your uh, zoos or habitats or things for zoo tours or other tours. And uh, my Twitch is down below, which I sometimes stream at. I will be trying to stream more though, because I actually really like streaming. And there is a link to my Twitter, which I rarely use, but if I tweet, it's mostly funny. I think so. And there's a link to my Instagram, which I post actually regularly at. So um, on my Instagram, um, I'm a bit of a nerd and a bit of a photographer at the moment. So I have a lot of pictures that I take. I have like a, I wouldn't say professional camera, but I have a semi-professional camera um, and I actually really enjoy the pictures that I make. So unfortunately, uh, we can't go to the zoos yet and I wanted to place a lot of pictures of zoos there, but whatever. So we have different pictures now. So check that out. Uh, give it a follow if you like it. You know, hit me up and you can uh, keep posted with my everyday life and stuff. <laughs> so here we are building another rock feature because this wall was like uh, pretty boring. And it was just a wall and it needed to be more because just the wall is boring so what i do is i sink uh or I, yeah i sink rocks into the actual wall 
And then I push them back slowly, just a little bit, and then I go over there with a different texture of rock. And if you blend them together with the right biomes of rock, they match. So that's really nice. So the um, savannah and the desert rock actually match really well, and then the red rock sometimes matches with that. That's the same if you're going in a temperate biome, it's the tundra and the uh, temperate rock. They match together really well. So, you know, pro tip. Again, you know, we're near an oasis, so it's a little bit greener. Putting some long grass down as well. And I believe, actually, I don't really... I, I assembled this video or I edited this video, like, um, right after I finished this build, which was end of February, I believe. So I don't really remember how I edited it. I know there's a lot more to come, but I don't remember what I put in here and what I didn't. I do know that we are um, gonna change that entire rock wall with more rocks. And we did this underwater thing. Oh, I completely forgot about that. But the underwater of the waterfall feature, we gave them a lot of plants just, you know, to make it nice. Yes, ah, I remember now. Yeah, we are turning a little bit more uh, like we did in the beginning. We are sinking down some stones in there to make it look like a natural pathway. Because, you know, I looked at pictures of the Savannah and that's something that happens sometimes. Plus, I saw that other creators had done that as well and I wanted to give it a little bit of uh, unity throughout the entire zoo. And I actually feel that doing that subtle thing actually works quite well. I also went into some of the other creators uh, section and I uh, took some of the same plants that they used, even from different biomes. I just, you know, you want to create this unity throughout the entire zoo. And I know that with the community zoo, um, it's basically build a zoo together and see how it works out. But I always like, you know, mix and matching. Just making sure that it really fits with the habitat that are next to it. And I, you know, I don't know, it's just me, I'm just like that, so. And I don't really know if and other people have done that as well, but I always like doing that in here. Um, I didn't know what to do here. And then I was like, you know what, I'll just build um, some rocks where you can just walk in between and play with. I'm not really sure if rhinos actually play that much, but in my mind they did. So, you know. <laughs> And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And we're placing this elephant grass like everywhere. Uh, not does only this elephant grass uh, keep them out of certain areas so they can't escape or glitch through walls. It also makes it look really happy because you know it's bright green and makes it look really alive. So placing it in between the rocks actually, you know, I think it looks really great. And then with the different kind of reeds as well, because like like the uh, typical reed for my country where I live at, which has like the cigars on top of them. We call them in Dutch cigars. I'm not quite sure if they're the same in other languages. And then you have the white reeds, which are like poof at the, at the top, the other type, um, which you don't really, I've never really seen. Well, I have seen it, but not that common. So, and here we are you know, nicing up this waterfall feature, which I actually feel like is really nice. And then we are moving to the inside of the dome because we haven't touched that yet because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with it. And before I did anything with it, I wanted to finish the outside so I could match it really well. And now we are here in the inside. And the inside, um, once I built this water feature, it was a lot smaller than I remembered. And I was like, yeah, that's probably why I never do water features in inside areas <laughs> because they need to be super, super, super big. But let's just talk about the uh, type of plaster wall that we used. I painted that and it matches so well with the water and with all the foliage that we're gonna add in a little bit. And I'm really happy with the way that it looks. Or looks, actually, I'm really, I'm still happy with it. And we're adding this water feature and as you can see, it's quite big. And then when you walk over it, uh, hopefully the rhinoceroses will be in the water so you can actually see that. And I'm just so happy with it. And we use a lot of plants in the inside habitat as well. I keep saying inside habitat, but it's just in the dome because it's a dome. And if you don't know how to build domes, um, there are like a thousand um, like tutorials on that, how to do that. So check those out. I could make one sure as well, but there are like, like a million already on YouTube. So just go check it out. And here we are just placing some um, plants down. Now these, these little trees, when you sunk them down, they look like grass. And I really like that. Before that, I never really realized that, but I accidentally sunk one down. I'm like, this just looks like grass. So we are using that as well. And I actually should use that more often in other habitats as well, because I've forgotten about that neat little trick. 
But looking back at it, I'm like, oh yes, that's right. And here again, you know, just the trees sink them in. They look a little bit like, like there's kind of bushes on top of them. And I'm actually really happy with the way it turns out. And I like, again, you know, placing these little um, stones, like floor tiles in there. And then I think we're gonna add some um, hay for them to sleep on. Oh, we already have some there. In a way, that's a rock. So yeah, so we're gonna add some hay for them to sleep so you can actually see them. And I think, guys, we are actually really close to the end of this video, looking at the time. So if you did enjoy this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and, um, consider subscribing to the channel if you really enjoyed it. It helps the channel grow and that's something that I'd really like to accomplish here. And you can also give it a comment. Maybe you have some thoughts or some questions or there are things you didn't like or things you did like. Leave it all down below in the comments and I will get back to you guys and I will hope to see you on the next video. For now guys, I wish you a very good afternoon, morning or evening wherever it is you are and goodbye.